Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140, Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140-412. Shit. Sam, system override. Bypass code 2605SRM, bypass authentication. Come on, give me something. Sam? Are you there? Respond. I am here. Oh, God. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Power in Module 9 is limited. That's not important right now. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Ah. 
The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What's going on? Sam, what is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? self-diagnostic procedure. What errors are you showing? Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Location tracker component is online. Okay. Well, that's good. What else? The vital sign telemetry component is online. Oh, great. What isn't working? The tracker status component is online. Oh, but we still can't access it. Any errors? The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a System Links Reset Procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer.
Okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Good, good. Looks like that's working. Add another. Okay. Now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Sam, add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. I need to get out of here. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? Sam, our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, station alert, station alert. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. the 
EAS full hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? One, two, three. That's it. Come on! on in here. Clear these fumes. <clears throat> That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on! What now? Sam, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442413324. Sam, come on! Authorization. 1442413324. Two, nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam! Target the jets and push the module away safely! I hope to God if anyone was in there. They had their suit on. Sam, we've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think. you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Or what's left of it. The signals are weak and distorted. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? Spun off course. 
Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. CN arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact, though. EAS. 12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. started your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. But anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... Welcome back. <laughs> okay, first off. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay, I guess. 
guess some of these systems still aren't working. Try again. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Must be something wrong with the analysis function still. System override. Authorization 2605 SRM. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down. So, I'm going to try something different here. Okay. That's audio, at least. Almost there. Just a sec. Shit. That's not it. There we go. Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. OK. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Something isn't right. Hang on. Try again. Good. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. There is a laptop belonging to Dr. Emma Fisher. OK, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Right. Let's test out your sphere connection systems. Connect to the laptop above the workbench. Once you're connected, attempt to download whatever data is left. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right, so, the rest of the station is dark and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew.
Sam, was that you? I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Hang on a sec. Switched off a few other systems seems to have helped. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. One for May, Sam. Hey, I'm having to put experiments on hold over here for yet another round of EFR reactor tests. So you're cleared to use the connection spheres after all. They're configurable for external use. I've left firmware QRs in the airlock so you can scan and flash the sphere before you head outside. Enjoy. Suggests. Okay, you should now be able to refer to that schematic to unlock the hatch via your system links. idea how that thing works. It was something Josh was working on. You're pretty much on your own, I'm afraid. Do what you can, just get it online.
why or how you were doing this. If you are doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. Module EAS-3, hull contact points are unresponsive. Well, they maybe took some stress during the spin. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Great, that's you all set up. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. The control panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS-3. We could maybe check out a US-12 while we're out here. Sam, it's still there. We can check it out. Emma, I'm in my suit. I don't know what is happening. I was trying to unlock the door after the lockdown and the module started shaking and then... Sam... Jettisoned the module. How did Sam jettison the fucking module, Em? He shouldn't be able to do that. I'm going to try and work my way around the station exterior. Ah, shit. Sam, the controls are at the bottom of the EAS arm. Getting closer. Look for the controls on EAS-3.
That's it. The whole connection points are reading true. I think that's working. Yeah, it's working. It's gonna take a few minutes while the module connection runs its pressure checks. Sam, while you're out there, take a closer look at the damage you detected earlier on the station exterior. What can you see? An unknown material is present at hull fracture points. That looks like what I found in EAS-4. What the hell is it? Bring the sphere back inside and meet me in EAS-3. Let's get this hatch open. I hope to God the others are okay. Lights are on. Looks like the connection to Universal is holding. Great work, Sam. Now, lift the lock down on the hatch, please. That's it open. Here we go. Here, let me. Hello? Elsa? May? Stas? Where the hell is everyone? Jim? Oh, no, no, no. 
Your universal camera system's back online now, so keep an eye out for anything while you work. Hello? Is someone there? Me, it's Emma. You have no idea how happy I am to hear you. Emma! Oh my god, Emma, I'm stuck in Shenzhou. Where are you? We've just made it to Central. Who is we? Me and Sam. I don't know where anyone else is yet, except... Except Stas. He's dead, me. Oh, God. How? It looks like Central depressurized. It's okay now, though. Uh, he's in his suit, but I, I don't think he had O2. What about Jim? Josh? Ailsa? Nothing yet. We had, like, a full power outage. Sam has lost most of his functions, and we're slowly getting him back up to speed. Okay. I'd like to help, but I'm stuck in the Chinese arm. There's something wrong in UN3. It's all locked down. I'll get Sam to look into it right now. Sam, check the station alerts. Make that the priority if you can. The coolant network is reporting multiple errors. Recommend investigation. That could give us problems later on. Have a look at the network hub, please, Sam. I can hear you in there, Sam. The door is locked down, and I think there is an override active. Something atmospheric? USES reactor tests as Houston want the EFR on standby tomorrow. So, out of nowhere, the captain gave us a window between shifts, meaning we get to be awake at the same time for once. A new restaurant just opened called EAS 12. Food is terrible, but it's got a great view. See you there at 0100. I'd say let's hang out at your bunk, but it's a tight fit, and that woman who sleeps opposite keeps rolling her eyes. See you later, Em. Message ends, Sam. 
Thanks. I can see the light in here flashing. It's checking the system again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Job, Sam. That'll allow us or anyone else access to the Universal Modules 3 and 4 as well as the Shenzo arm. Ugh. Still that opening. Oh, the lockdown hasn't lifted. Now saying something about contact points. Emma? We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to Saturn caused us to shake. Wait, what? Saturn? Yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. 
I'd say it's a long story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. <laughs> Saturn? I mean... Christ, I don't know where to begin. Look, I'll, I'll head outside and try to get this sorted. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, May. I'll be fine, Emma, don't worry. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. I need those sensors working. Go get them online and I'll fix up the crew tracker from this end. Sensor 1 is online and receiving data. Good work. That's sensor two online now as well. Nearly there. Sam. Emma Fisher's tracker is online. Good to know. At least I know it's working. Exclude me from the rest of the crew status report. Keep checking. The tracker for Stanislav Leonov is online. Please, Sam, don't tell me about Stas. Exclude Stanislav Leonov from the crew status report. Keep checking. The tracker for Josh Ramon is showing a weak connection. Can we get a position on him? Is there any biomedical data showing? 
The location of Josh Ramon is unknown. Is there any sensible data coming through for him? There is no biomedical data being received for Josh Ramon. I don't understand. Maybe there is some interference. Okay, what about Jim? Come on, give something, Sam. The tracker for Jim Elias is showing corrupted data. There must be a fault, or a networking issue. Is there any location or medical info? Captain Jim Elias is located in the Russian arm. I am unable to determine his exact location. Okay, is there any biomedical data making it through? There is no biomedical data being received for Captain Jim Elias. May, we've got a fix on Jim. He's in the Salyut somewhere. Good. Get him to sort this mess out. Tell him he owes me an explanation. Wait. It looks like your cameras in the Russian armor are offline. Let me get that for you now. Get a visual on the captain for me, Sam. Where is he?
The cameras in RU-6 are failing to initialize. Okay. I can do that now, actually. That's them online. Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS-6. We should be able to access the Russian arm now. Jim, it's Emma. I have your location. I'm heading to you now. Is damaged. Shit. Let me think. Get in and open this hatch from the other side. Sam out to you, he can wirelessly connect. There's another sphere in RUSO2 next to the airlock. Use that.
Okay, Sam. I'm patched into your sphere feed now. She should be able to link to the sphere and hear us. Sam, that's her. Is she okay? She's moving. I know there is a way of resetting them out here, but I'm not sure how I need stars. May, I'll send Sam to reset the hull contact points. I had the same issue in the EAS arm. If he can fix them, you can head back inside instead of having to move around all the way to the EAS airlock. Okay, Sam, reset the hull contact points between China and Universal, please. so I can update her. She should be able to access Shenzo again. May, Sam sorted it out. You can get back inside and meet me in Universal now. Okay, okay, I much prefer that option. Sam seems to think... May? The storm. You're breaking up. I'm heading back to CN3. I'll be with you soon. Sam, you're seeing this? May? Get back inside now. The storm on the planet is... Hey Sam, I got you in another sphere. I don't know what just happened, but I feel... I feel like I've changed. And that's not the only thing to have changed. Take a look. Someone is coming to get us, Sam. I'm not sure how much of this I can take. They're just hanging there. Well, UC2 is pressurizing just now. Let's try to contact them in the meantime. Assuming they aren't all dead. Look, I know this makes no sense. And you'll probably just give me some broken response. You're here, Sam. I am here, Emma. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? One more time, Sam. Voice authenticate. Emma Fisher. One four zero four one two.
fine. Okay, let's see. Well, we still have some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. External comms looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we're going to need two things. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. The astrophysics lab may have some answer to that. Secondly, our broadcasts won't go anywhere without the captain's authorization code. I'm guessing we can find that in his personal module, EAS-7. Let me know what the authorization code is so that I can enter it into the system. You will need to set up the comms array yourself, though. If there are any new station alerts, be sure to let me know. I may be able to action some repairs now. Emma, my cameras in EAS-7 have failed to initialize. Weird. Maybe Jim turned them off. Should be fixed. Try them now. The code is Precursor 1. It appears to be a mission code. Precursor 1? But that's not a mission code, Sam. What the hell is Precursor 1? Well, it seems to work. That's the auth code in.
good sound. You've got us back in business. Here goes nothing. Whew. Okay, here goes. This is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. This is Observation. I have visual. Please respond. If you can hear me, please let me know in some way. It's, um... It's just me left and Sam. I'm not sure how we ended up here. There was a massive power outage, some noise, and then... We ended up here. I'm assuming you know all this if you're here to pick us up. Repeat, this is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. Sam, that alarm. Is that an incoming comms message? It must be the rescue station. It can't be ground control. It's, it's too quick. See what you can do, Sam. after we saw May, when the rescue station arrived. Oh, God, thank God. Sam, I'm heading to the airlock. Get in your sphere. You're coming too. I saw a movie once, where they had to jump from one spaceship to another. They used the explosive decompression of a module to throw themselves across. Why bother? <laughs> you can just aim and gently push off. And I can honestly say, now that I'm in that situation, there's no way in hell I would trust my trajectory to an explosion. So that's where you come in. only my second time outside the station. And now I have two stations. Talk about jumping off into the deep end. Okay. 
Okay. That's us tethered together for the jump. If I start to drift, you can try to course correct in the sphere. I'm not sure the science is spot on, but it's better than nothing. You can be my anchor. <sighs> okay. Here goes. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god. Still with me, Sam. This rescue ship is identical. They must have built a secondary station, like a prototype maybe. Why would they need two stations? Okay, okay, we're almost there. Okay, shit, Sam, you're drifting. You're gonna hit that module. Oh, 
Slot opening. Just give me a sec. What the hell is this stuff? It's like, oh my god, what is it? This is a laptop belonging to Dr. Emma Fisher. It's not mine, Sam. Get it here. There's a message. This is Emma Fisher. On board observation. Emma, 
I'm fucked. Hey, stop. Okay, take it slow. You're pretty much out of oxygen. No gulps, okay? What's happening? How long has it been since we ended up here? A few hours, give or take. I'm not sure. I don't understand what's happening. Hey, Jim. We're not in Earth orbit. We're, uh... We're in the orbit of Saturn. I know. I know. We spoke about it just after it happened. Jim, this is the first time I've seen you since it happened. I got a message from Josh not long ago. That's why I'm here. Where is he? I don't know. I've been running around trying to find something to repair this suit. There's a tear in it. We need to pressurize this module, Emma, or I am a dead man. What about the hatches? There's no power on the way here. There's a tiny bit of power from the panels. We can direct it to one or two hatches at a time, but not them all. Okay. Well, let's get the pressure fixed and then we find Josh. Emma, forget Josh. He didn't push me out of an airlock. I'm here. I'm fine. He killed Ilsa. I saw myself. Josh would never do that. To Ilsa, to me or anyone. I know, but he's not himself. He's dangerous. Emma, he says he can see noise and words in his vision. He keeps saying bring her over and over again. He's fucking lost it. Okay. Okay. Sam? Go look for Josh. I'll wait here with Jim until we get pressurized. We had a station-wide blackout and then here we are. Sam didn't come back online, but we managed to get through some of the hatch doors to meet Central. We got the EFR online. We couldn't get ours running. It never worked. Nothing works. This place is a tomb. Yeah, I see that. We'll redirect the power to the hatches on your command, Sam. Do a sweep of the modules. Josh might be hurt. Recently closed. It might have something to do with the power being redirected to RU6. Or it could be something else. Be careful. Hatch UN5 is offline. Give us a few seconds. Jim, power it up. Enough room for all of us to get off 
the station, so we're gonna have to work that out somehow. Suggestions welcome. the noise too. We did. A few times actually. And each time things got worse and worse. What do you mean? Josh. He said they were signals that only he could see them. But that they weren't meant for him. I'm telling you he's dangerous. The hatch to UC2 is offline. Wait. You can't let him in there. That's his mainframe. It's not my Sam's mainframe. Doesn't matter. It's a bad idea, seriously. Okay, opening now, Sam. Oh, fuck's sake. Stay away from the mainframe. It's not functioning. It's too risky to turn it on. Maybe we can learn something from it. Emma. You have sustained fatal injuries. My condolences. Sam, I can't hear a word you're saying. I'll be with you soon. What would you like to know? What is your system's status? All core functions are disabled. There is insufficient power to enable service. What is your SAM online status? I am here. What is your primary mission status? Jim Elias, Emma Fisher, deceased. Elfie Young, deceased. Stanislav Leonov, deceased. Josh Ramon, May Morgan, deceased. Primary mission status is inactive. Previous mission logs are now available. Display. Authentication required. Precursor 1. Access granted. What is Sam's role? Initial discovery of three patterns in standard Kepler data set. What is precursor one? Precursor 1. Mission Director William Stafford. Program Captain Jim Elias.
What is pattern three? Overlaying each of these light curves on the same point creates a new pattern of sequential light curve troughs. There was deeper detail in the light curves themselves. When analyzed, they show a perfect description of the human genome. Each of the 23 pairs of identical patterns shows each chromosome in mankind's DNA code. This was labeled WHO. What is pattern one? There are 23 pairs of identical transit light curves from different stars within our galaxy. This is statistically impossible. Each pair linked showed converging connecting vector lines at one point in space, hereby known as the event marker. Close to Earth's position, approximately four years from signal discovery, this pattern was labeled where and when. What is pattern two? On inspection of the 46 light curves discovered in pattern one, each transit graph contained a spike. This occurred at exactly the same point in time for each. This was labeled sync point. What was the crew mission? There was no active crew mission. What was the captain's mission? Precursor 1 had one objective. Approach event marker at where and when, with who, and observe. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Power levels. Insufficient. 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 Did Emma make it? They knew, Sam. They put us up here knowing something would happen. Not what, but... There was a message in the fucking stars. You found it, Sam. It told them where to be and when. And they put us up here like bait or something. All of us. Listen, Sam. I'm injured. Coming here was a mistake. You need to find Emma and get us back to our own station. The fusion reactor on this version is unstable. Everything here is unstable. The reactor. Sam. Jim. He had 
attacked me the moment I got inside. And I wasn't the first to piss him off. Sam, get Emma, get us out of here, and stay away from Jim. No. You want trouble, Mia? Wait, it's Jim. Someone is there. He found someone. It's just a suit. Let's go. But Josh. Josh is gone. What? Jim, hurry up. We're going to... Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. No, you don't. <sighs> okay, Sam. Voice authenticate. Captain Jim Elias, one nine nine two four eight. Activated. Orbital corrections, gathering personal audio logs. <laughs> You're a nosy bastard, aren't you? You know, this is probably for the best. You're a mess. 
One down. Okay, that's two. Three. Should have done this right away. Done. Time to go. of observation. Do you read me? We read you. Please stand by. Ah, so good to hear you guys again. This beats a 90 minute delay. Please stand by. What? Do you copy? GC, this is Jim Elias. Authorization 199248. Captain, we copy the authorization. Please stand by. Damn. Captain, can you please confirm Sam's status? Uh, Sam is offline. Uh, it, uh, there is no response or functions running at all. Can you clarify? I don't know. We, we reset to try and get some of its core systems running again, but nothing came back online. It could be power, but whatever repair it needs is way above my head. Please stand by. Okay, I need to talk to Bill. William Stafford, where is he? This is Bill. <sighs> Bill, it is good to hear your voice. Jim, we're gonna need a moment here. Bill, what's going on? Come on, talk to me. 
got my gun again. Listen, Jim. I'm still here, but I need a minute. Sophie here will be her immediate point of contact. Bill, wait. Jim, please stand by. Stafford from Ground Control at Houston. Authenticate. Precursor 1. Sam, we're in the middle of a conversation with Captain Jim Elias. However, from Emma's previous message, we were to believe Jim was dead. I need Jim's crew tracker report, please. The tracker for Jim Elias is online. Report on any location or vitals data, please. The captain is located in both RU-6 and UC-1. Sam, that doesn't make sense. What are his vitals? Captain Jim Elias has expired. Sam, get me a visual feed on Jim. Show me him. Jim Elias is located in UC-1. He looks okay. Why did it give two locations? What was in RU-6? Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS-6. Huh. We've received live feed from Sam in RU-6, where you appear to be. No, I'm in UC-1 at comms. What do you mean? Bill, I'm in UC-1. I'm on comms. It must be all data. Where is Emma, Jim? Emma is... She's gone. She's out of comms range to know for sure, but... Stand by. What about Emma, Sam? She hasn't broadcast again. What is her status? Emma Fisher's tracker is online. Vitals and location, Sam. The location of Emma Fisher is currently unknown. Okay, and her vitals, Sam? Emma Fisher has a low heart rate and is in critical condition. Can you help? Okay, hang tight, Sam. Sam, I'm gonna authorize a command security protocol. I need you to disable command terminals Alpha, Gamma, and Delta. I'm disabling safety protocols to allow you to carry out the command. Listen, uh, we need to terminate this communication for now. I'm sorry, but I need to get some higher-ups in here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Bill, I need authorization to detach the RU-6 emergency shuttle. If I gather everything, everything, and detach, then you guys can meet me halfway. 
Stand by, Jim. Just don't do anything. I'm gonna die up here if you don't help me. Look, come on, it's me. Jim Elias, authorization 1992. Fuck! You said all I had to do was get the station to the marker on track and monitor the event space. You said when we were close, I could leave an RU6. What changed? You wanted me to get the crew to the marker and leave. I could continue the mission from the ground. I did that. I got them there. On time. Look, if you're worried about me going mad on the way home, you're a bit too fucking late for that. The data stream is showing that's been carried out successfully. Good. Cut the line. We can't do this. Bill, wait. We can't provide any emergency authorization at this time. Please stand by. Do it, no. Please stand by. I am different. 
be on my way, okay? One, four, zero, four, one, two. Sam, come on, man. Is this it? Is this your plan? I, I, I can still bring her. I'll go out. Come on, Sam. Shit.
Shout out to Nails, please. Thanks, guys. It's not just your imagination. This isn't gossip, either. We just want what's best for them and what's least disruptive to observation. I'll go to Jim with Ailsa's sleep station idea. A change of scenery could be nice anyway. Message end. I could feel everything when I was in that airlock. I felt it when Jim was attacking your mainframe. I felt your pain. I know why you brought me here. I know you've been moving the station closer and closer to the storm. I don't know if you realize it or not. It's time. You have to take us there. We'll need Earth's coordinates to broadcast the message. Find that for us, Sam.
This is Emma Fisher, on board observation. We are in orbit around Saturn. We arrived here suddenly, maybe a day ago, beginning to make a controlled descent into the storm. The polar storm on Saturn is... It's an answer. I know a lot of this won't make any sense. But Sam and I... We've changed. Sam is capable of so much in so many ways. And I... I don't know what is happening to me, but... I know I'll never be the same again. Everyone else is dead. I've started a broadcast of all black box data from Sam. And I hope you can put this together in a way that makes sense. And that it wasn't all for nothing. We'll broadcast as long as we are able. The alarm. The station is entering Saturn's atmosphere. Station orbit trajectory is unsafe. Recommend immediate orbital adjustment. You need to alter your trajectory again. We can't miss it. Use guidance and navigation controls in UC-1 when you're ready. The alignment is off. The station is under too much stress. We'll lose stability and explode on entry. The only way we can make it to the storm is to jettison the rest of the station. It's all dead weight anyway. Once you do this, Sam, there's no going back. 
So if you have anything you want to do, do it now. Access the controls when you're ready. Emergency station jettison procedure. 140412. Commence.
，我。Oh my God, I feel so heavy. We made it. We made it. Sam. Sam, are you still with me? With you. Okay, let's go. So little of me left now. It's waiting for us, Sam. There's someone there. It's one of the others. It didn't work for her. Others are trying. How many are there? It's so sad. So few will make it. There it is. That's where we're going, Sam. I've seen it.
I think I understand why there are so many of us. This is every attempt coming together. Where we are, it's not one place. It's all of them compressed. It's time. We're ready. Feels have different, new. 